have the Ford Cougar Titanium X power shift, so that's the automatic, on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that by pressing the button on the tailgate itself or uh, double tapping the button at the bottom of the key here. Uh, so if we do that, you'll see the boot will now open. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we've got reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You can see the seats are leather. The driver's seat is 10-way electronically adjustable as well. Uh, there's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. And then above that, within the trip computer, you can see the total miles on this car are 12,662, so very low mileage for a two-year-old car. Uh, and then at the top here, it will show you what gear the car is currently in as it's an automatic it will show that we're in p4 park and then above that we have a trip computer with various different bits of fuel economy information you can change what's displayed there by using the buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel should you wish to you can leave it on the digital readout for the speedometer which is particularly handy and those buttons i was using are on the left hand side just here below which we have cruise control and speed limiter and then over on the right hand side of the steering wheel we've got stereo controls uh, as well as voice activation for the phone. So hit that button in the middle, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you pair the phone and that is done over in the center here by hitting pair phone. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. And then just simply follow those instructions, it's very easy to do. Uh, besides that, on this, on this system, we can go back to the home menu there. If we go through the music, first of all, so there's many ways to listen to your music in this car. So we've got FM and AM radio at the top there, DAB digital radio, a CD player, which is just above the unit here. Uh, we then have USB input. We can stream music uh, wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you paired your phone, you can listen to music as well as making and receiving phone calls. There's an SD memory card slot and a line in, so auxiliary in input as well. The SD memory card slot is reserved for the satellite navigation. Uh, while we're on the subjects of satellite navigation, there's a full video showing how that works on our Facebook page and on our website, so it's worth uh, searching that video out and having a look at that. You'll see in the bottom right-hand corner uh, box here, it will show the temperature. I'll show you where you make these adjustments, but any adjustment you make to the temperature is shown down on the main uh, screen for the air conditioning or the climate control, but it's also shown on the satellite navigation screen as well, just there as you can see. Uh, so working our way down, we have the main buttons for the stereo, and then we come onto the dual zone climate control. Uh, so the temperatures I was adjusting just a moment ago uh, were being adjusted from here, and as I say, it will show you the temperature here and up above as well. Uh, fan speed is adjusted up and down from here. Once you're happy with the temperature and fan speed, you can turn the air conditioning on just there, or you can hit auto, and the car will maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed itself, and you can simply override that, should you wish to, and it'll put it back onto standard air conditioning. Beneath that, we've got front heated screen and rear heated screen. We can open the tailgate from a push of this button, and this button here is for the stop and start. So the car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel, um, when you're stationary. If you don't want to use the system, hit that button and it will turn that system off, as I've just done there. We then have the fully automatic gearbox, on the side of which you have a plus and minus. That is so you can change gear manually up and down, should you wish to. We then have a 12 volt charging socket, passenger and driver heated seat, and then all the way back in the central armrest, we've got the SD memory card slot, the auxiliary in socket and the USB in socket as well. In fact, two of those. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is the panoramic glass roof, and in fact, panoramic sunroofs. Uh, so if we press that button there, it'll open up the sun blind halfway, push it again, and it'll open that all the way to the back of the car. So as you can see, it lets in a huge amount of light. Uh, you can, with this car, because it's a proper sunroof, 
letting a huge amount of air as well by opening that front section up. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.